G'day, I'm Arn from Overshare. Heidi's my other half. Um, we're, a, we're a family business uh, based, basically, we came from our family farm on the Air Peninsula. My wife's family's here from the Brossa. Um, our business focuses around finding techno technological solutions that are practical in your day-to-day -day life on the farm. So we started off with a small cordless shearing handpiece, which no one had ever brought into the country before. That's where our business started. Now we're doing it, we, from my father-in-law's side, he kept bugging us to find something to make the pruning in the vineyard easier. So um, we, last year, well, year before last, were the first to bring fully cordless pruning equipment into the country. So our focus has always been to find new solutions. That's technology that's simple, robust, and above all, makes the job easier and hopefully cheaper. Um, I love finding those sorts of solutions and, and problem solving for people. We, our business is built around listening to our customers and trying to find solutions to what people need who haven't got time to go look for themselves. So as you can see, I'm kind of dressed up like wide up here at the moment. Um, these are the little tools that we've got. So very uh, compact, robust little pruners. Fully self-contained, the battery's inside the unit. You don't need to wear a belt, you don't need to rig up. So having a little holster here, you can have it out, out of the way, you can be checking the vineyard, if something needs doing, you pull it out. There it is. Um, there's two sizes, there's a bigger one, which will do large cuts, like 40 mil plus. Um, very, very powerful. They're deceptively powerful for what they look like. Um, and that's where the technology comes in. So we're more at the practical end. I'm from the farm myself. So I like finding solutions that appeal to me as well. So come and have a look over there, have a play. Um, if you've got any questions, sure. Um, so the smaller unit, which is probably more applicable to the vineyard, you get three batteries supplied with it. Each battery will do a minimum of three hours of heavy pruning. So if you're doing lighter, thinner stuff, it'll go longer than that. Have you got many people using it? Yes. Yeah. Last year, um, so with the bigger model, model we've been doing for nearly two years now. Mm -hmm. So we launched into the market with that, um, thinking that people would want the power. But since then, the smaller model has become very popular in the vineyards, um, especially, yeah, because it's just so light and easy to handle, and um, you know you don't have to gear up. Plus, the cost factor is a lot less than what else is on the market. Uh, so the, the smaller 25 mil cut unit is 990, including GST, and we give you a two-year warranty, and and we give you local parts back up. So one of my things is coming from 20 years of farming, it always annoyed me when I couldn't get parts. So we have got parts stocked up to support these things, and with everything we sell um, for at least the next five to ten years already in stock. Yep. So there's no waiting, there's no freight issues, and all that sort of thing. Just a question with charging for it, because you said that it comes with three different batteries yes. and they last for about three or four hours each if you're doing big cuts. Do you have then a charging station or yes. that so does the, all of them at once? It, so the charger does them, you can plug them all in at once. So the idea is you do your day's work, um, plug all three batteries in at the end of the day and it'll charge one after the other overnight. And But you could, it takes roughly an hour and a half, two hours per battery. So you can plug them in at lunchtime and it'll be ready at smoker time, that sort of thing as well. But yeah, so you can walk away and next morning grab your batteries and off you go again. Uh, here we have many softwares that normally account who does the activity in the field and what, where the activity was done. Are you planning to incorporate that technology into your pruning tools? Like, it, who is using them, uh, where, or that kind of things, and to integrate that to to the other softwares. Like, uh, I, I know that tool was used in that block by that person at that time and prune all this area. Or excellent idea. Do you have any of those technology available, or are you planning no, to? not yet. Well, but that's an excellent idea. Yeah. So if there's a if there's a need for that, I'd, it's definitely something I'd explore for sure. At the moment, I'm trying to keep things as simple as possible because I find the more different things you build into a tool, the more prone it is to failing as well. So that robustness comes first, and then we bring the extra features in. Probably just a 
Right, it's just a fine chip. And yeah, yeah, no, it, it, I'm dead. Dare say that's doable and really good idea.